Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Naz. Glad to be with the Office Blokes. You got something yeah. in your mouth? Yeah, straps all. Oh, <laughs> can, you not, can you not hear my voice? Yeah, I think everyone will be able to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we are the Office Blokes. We've got two other YouTube channels. We've got a Patreon page. We've got social media, all that good stuff. Some nice merch as well. Sort it out. Treat yourself. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Fair play. The link in the description will take you everywhere you need to go, and we do massively appreciate it. So, why are submarines black and cruise ships white? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you Next. Up. I'm thinking submarines are black, so you can't see them under the deep water. And cruise ships are white, so you can see them on the top of the water. <clears throat> Maybe. One of them, the primary objective is stealth. Yeah. And the other one isn't. Yes, it's the whole mm. point of submarines, isn't it? Should we bother mm. watching it? Yeah, cool. <laughs> sorted. <laughs> nah, not bothered. Nah. That one's done. Anyway, uh, why are submarines black and cruise ships white? Let's do it. What if we were to tell you that modern submarines are black for the same reason the tires on your car are black? That's right. But before the rubber meets the road, we need to talk about submarines and camouflage. Before the invention of nuclear power, submarines actually spent more time on the surface than underwater, and so camouflaging was essential. During World War I, the United States conducted experiments in order to protect their submarines against visual detection. The results showed... That one won't work very well with a big flag on top, would it? Get wet. <laughs> flag would get wet, wouldn't it? <laughs> that for a surfaced submarine, a light grey hull with black decks provided as good of a visual protection as any other method. But in the mid-30s, another issue arose, as it became apparent that submerged submarines can be observed by aircraft flying over them, as long as the submarines were not too deep down. Looking for a solution, the United States conducted another series of tests in 1937 at Pearl Harbor. As part of the experiments, submarines were painted black, dark blue, purple, green and various other combination of colors. The conclusion was that dark blue offered the best concealment in deep, clear, tropical waters and the commander ordered his division to repaint the submarines dark blue. Not Lo black then. Loads of them yeah. experimenting for ages going, what colour should we do it? Green, yellow, and then they go, what colour's the sea? It's blue. <laughs> should we paint them blue? <laughs> the sea's green, isn't it? I'd say it's blue. Someone's going, it's too obvious that. Yeah, but <laughs> it's green in places. Surface, he called it a surface submarine. Yeah, because they said originally they spent more time on the surface than below the water, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, it's a boat then, isn't it? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <good. It's>, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but as the camouflage testing continued, a new problem surfaced, as the blue paint deteriorated after application and acquired a lighter, milky tone. In the end, the decision to paint submarines black was made due to the superior durability of black paint, and not because of black color's camouflaging characteristics. Fast forwarding to 2006, the Royal Navy painted HMS Torbay a new shade called Steely Blue, as after conducting exhaustive trials and lab tests, they found out that black... I'm just putting it out there though, if you've got a stealth submarine that looks like that, and you're saying, I'm going to paint it lily white, whatever, yeah. it like, doesn't have the same effect, but it's you know, like a Steely Blue or whatever colour black it's yeah. got the same effects of the way it looks and the way it's yeah, named yeah. after you know, yeah, yeah. you've got to put a name that goes with something that's powerful yeah, like wow. hard bastard yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. we'll move on quickly. <laughs> was the worst low key colour to deceive the enemy while black colour did perform in darker north atlantic waters in brighter seas the new blue shade wow. was twice as hard to spot HMS Torbay was sent on a six-month secret mission to test out this new color, and it was expected that the entire fleet of Royal Navy's submarines would be repainted steely blue. But something must have been discovered during the testing of the steely blue shade, as the Royal Navy's newest astute-class submarines are still black. Here is a random fact, HMS Torbay was the first British warship to be controlled using Microsoft Windows operating system, which was the... Oh, I shit. wonder if that's <laughs> what <laughs> Steely Blue <laughs> looks like. Here comes the interesting part. It appears that most modern submarines are not painted at all. Instead, they're covered with anechoic tiles, which happen to be black. Anechoic tiles are predominantly made of rubber that contains thousands of tiny voids, which have two unique properties. 
They absorb the sound waves of active sonar, thereby reducing its effective range. And they also decrease the sound emitted from the vessel itself, like engine noises, which reduces detection range by passive sonar. Just to give you an idea... That's what I was thinking about it, because how many submarines are being visually spotted? Nowadays. No, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's, it's probably all highly unlikely. Radar, it? so not. Yeah. Visually spotted, unless you're fucking 3,000 miles out into the ocean, swimming in the deep waters, probably not often, <laughs> right? Yeah, or, or for example, <laughs> submarine. For example, a plane flying over. Right. That's what I'm getting right. at. Uh, right. <laughs> not just someone swimming the channel. <laughs> like, is, that, is that submarine? I better phone the army. I've got my legs stuck on stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? It's a submarine. <laughs> Here about the sound absorption properties of the anechoic tiles. Back in 2009, HMS Vanguard and French Navy's Triumphant were traveling at low speeds in the Atlantic Ocean. The anechoic tiles were so effective that neither submarine's passive sonar detected the other submarine, resulting in them colliding into one another. Wow. Anechoic tiles were first used by Germans as early as 1940 under U-boats. By 1970, Soviets started covering their submarines by 4-inch or 10-centimeter thick rubber tiles, and that helped reduce the Akula-class submarine's acoustic signal. Stopped everyone slipping Thank off when they're taking uh, pictures yeah, as well. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was clean. Really. <laughs> Everyone's going back with black skid marks on the suits all the time. Sure, <laughs> by 10 to 20 decibels. By the 1980s, both the Royal Navy and the U.S. Navy started utilizing the anechoic tiles. But why are the anechoic tiles black? Answering this question is key to understanding why modern submarines are black. Anechoic tiles are typically made of rubber, but believe it or not, rubber's natural color is white. For instance, over a century ago, all the tires on cars were actually white, just like this Ford Model T. Which begs the question, if rubber is white, why are tires black? Mm, my condoms different colors. And it's time to say... Oh, no. It's not what you think. <laughs> what makes tires black is the addition of carbon black to the rubber. Carbon black is often used as color pigment in paints, but tires are black, not for cosmetic reasons, but because adding carbon black to the rubber mixture increases the tensile strength and the road wear abrasion resistance of the tire by over 10 times. In fact, carbon black is mainly used as a reinforcing filler due to its unique property of making things more durable. And this is why all rubber products where tensile and abrasion wear properties are important contain carbon black and thus are black in color. Carbon black is also the reason why black paint is much more durable than other colors. But we are not quite done with carbon black. Since a submarine experiences extreme pressure differences as it submerges and resurfaces, the anechoic tiles are under a lot of pressure, so using carbon black filler in the rubber mixture makes a lot of sense. Moreover, research shows that carbon black reinforced rubber has the best sound absorption performance when compared to rubbers that use other reinforcing fillers. While the exact composition of anechoic tiles used on submarines is not public knowledge, during our research of academic papers, we found that the amount of carbon black added to the mixture influences the tile's sound absorption properties. Since various parts of the submarine produce different sound frequencies, a variety of different anechoic tiles are attached to the different parts of the submarine. If you're interested in the research, check out the references in the video description. But one last question remains. If dark blue is the best camouflage color, why not paint the anechoic tiles dark blue? And also, why are the bottoms of some submarines red? Well, the exact details around the stealth properties of submarines are not publicly available. North Korea and Iran paint their submarines green. And they would want what did you see in though? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly, uh, no, right. exactly nuclear-powered submarines, were they? Were they? Fred Flintstone driving it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> we don't want to lead by North Korea's example for anything, really, do we? No. Iran no. are obviously more developed. I'd trust their yeah. judgment more, but North Korea. No. Yeah, you have to worry about that, wouldn't you? Mm. Are not publicly available. North Korea and Iran <laughs> paint their submarines green. And if we made one a man submarine, sub, one man sub, we'd, <laughs> yeah. we'd have a go at yeah. making one. That's why it looks like. try, we make one better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Israel paints theirs blue. Go figure. But there might be a dilemma about painting submarines in general. If you paint the tiles, it seems to negatively impact the sonar stealth properties of the submarine. 
but if you don't paint them, organic life like algae and barnacles will slowly cover the bottom of the submarine, which over time has a similar negative impact. That said, if the bottom is to be painted, anti-fouling paint such as cuprous oxide is used, a red chemical compound which slows down the growth of organisms, which is why the bottom of submarines and ships in general is red. Oh, and the cruise ships are white or mostly white because that's a color that best reflects the sun's energy, keeping air conditioning costs to a minimum. This video was brought to you by the... <laughs> I like the ending on that, that was good. <laughs> Who cares about cruise ships? Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a shit what colour they are? It's uh, got a good sense of humour, that guy. He has, yeah, I like his delivery. It's good. Not what you think. Do you fancy going down on a submarine? Uh, no. no oh, me, me neither. A bit claustrophobic, really, for me. Well, like I, I, said, I told you, I used to work in a naval club and he tried to get me to sign up to be a submariner. Oh, did they? And I was like, yeah, it sounds all right, because you get paid the biggest, that's the highest pay you get when you first join. Right, okay. Yeah, you get like 15 grand more than everyone else. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, yeah, it sounds good at the time. Yeah. And then you go say. and see one and you're like, nah, fuck that. Yeah. It yeah. looks a bit grim. A couple of days, mm. max. Absolutely. But yeah. six months on one of them. That's it. Yeah, long, long time, time isn't it? Long nuclear time, yeah. ones. Yeah. Long, yeah. long time. And what happens if they do get into trouble? Say, for whatever reason, how are they supposed to find them? Say if the radio goes down, but then they run into engine problems. There was one last year. Because they can't year, find them. in Malaysia, wasn't it? Was it Malaysia last yeah. year? The Malaysian Navy or something. Because on certain ones, down, they still st haven't found it. Yeah. yeah, everyone died, didn't they? Yeah, well, they did it. I guess so. They'd have trouble <laughs> finding them, wouldn't they? You know, through sonar and yeah. radar, because they wouldn't be able to spot them. Well, they, they have emergency calls, don't they? Emergency signaling. Yeah, stuff I guess like so. That. Yeah, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be tracked as well, yeah. I'd imagine. Mm. Yeah. Like, they'll ping off every five minutes the last known location or something. Yeah. Interesting one, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I like videos like that though yeah, when yeah. I learn something new yeah. Yeah, now I know yeah, yeah I now know. I know why, why submarines are black cruise ships are white <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> it too done. don't forget to like and subscribe hit the <clears throat> bell and we'll catch you on the next one cheers, cheers. guys